Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. So I am just back from my favorite event from the entire year, which is the New Delhi World Book Fair. I literally look forward to it the entire year. It happens in February mostly. Uh, so yeah, I went there today. This time I'm planning to go there twice. Um, so let's see if I go there again or not. But today I went there with my friend and it was as always a nice experience. And I thought I'll share it all with you guys and, you know, I'm just sitting down uh, to share the haul with you guys. But before that, you know, let me share all the clips from the fair with you and then I'll be back with my haul. In my opinion, Metro is a really convenient way of reaching the book fair. Uh, if you're planning to go from Metro, then the Supreme Court or Pragati Medan station is the nearest to the fair. It's literally just a minute or two of walking after that. And the best part is that the tickets are also available at the station itself, apart from many other stations of the Delhi Metro. It's a little bit of a walk from the point where you get your tickets checked to the actual halls where the book fair is happening and if you like you can avail this free shuttle service to reach those halls instead of walking the distance. So this is where the shuttle dropped us and now we are on our way to hall number 5 from where we began exploring the book fair.
So let's get into the haul now. The first book that I'm sharing with you is something I bought precisely because, you know, I want to experiment with the kind of genres that I've been reading. Um, one genre that I've always avoided is romance. I just don't like reading romance books. I don't even watch a lot of romantic movies. I don't know why. But, you know, lately I've been feeling that I should experiment a bit more, read something different bring about a change um, in what I'm reading and consuming and that's why I picked this one up The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood um, first reason is that you know I've seen this here and there and heard good things about it and you know at the fair when I read the blurb I thought you know this uh, could be a fitting starting point for me to venture into the genre the second book that I got is Untouchable Spring by G. Kalyan Kalyana Rao um, and it's translated from Telugu. Um, I picked this up because it's a part of my syllabus this semester and you know I checked the prices online it was somewhere around 500 or 600 rupees and I got it at the fair for just 150 rupees so I think this was a great um, you know pick um, and yes definitely this could be a pre-loved book because they are selling it for so cheap but I don't really mind pre-loved books as long as they are in good condition so yeah I'm really happy with this purchase. The next book in the haul is The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Now this is a classic a lot of people might have read it you know I've heard a lot about this one um, and when I read the blurb I thought this is something you know this is the kind of book that would interest me something that's right up my alley and that's why I picked it up. Now the last two books from today's haul, um, I picked them up because somebody highly recommended them to me. So you know when I saw them at the fair, I had to pick them up. The first one is called Jonathan Livingston Seagull, A Story. So this is the book and it says that it's a fable. Now fable is not something that I usually read or enjoy but because it is so highly recommended by someone I just had to pick it up I have to give this a try um, because you know I know when I love a book and I keep recommending it to someone uh, I know that feeling so if someone has loved this book so much it has to have you know some essence to it and yeah that's why I picked this the last book for the haul is Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. I'm very sure that a lot of you have seen this book around or heard about it, read it. Because it's pretty famous and again, it's very highly recommended to me. I saw this one first at the Crossword um, stall and it was a bit expensive. It was for, what, four or five hundred rupees and I was in no mood of spending that much. Um, so and then I saw this uh, particular one at another stall and I'm pretty sure once again that this is pre-loved and I got it for just 100 bucks but you know it's in pretty good condition um, and yeah again I'm really happy with this purchase as well and this is probably the book out of the haul that I'm going to um, begin first. So these were all the books that I got this time. I didn't purchase a lot this time around because of two reasons. First of all, I'm planning to go there again. So I'm pretty sure that I won't be able to resist and I am going to pick more books uh, that time around. And secondly, I'm just trying to watch my spending a little bit. And I know that, you know, no matter how many books I purchase, as long as I have stuff to read in my syllabus, I just don't get the time to get around to other books. So, you know, I just practice a lot of self-control and I picked just five books this time around but another very um, cute thing that I purchased is this fridge magnet fridge magnet comes sticker however you want to use it it says Joey doesn't share food and if you are a friends fan like me you know uh, which episode this is from so yeah I just really loved it one thing that's very disappointing especially if you are a stationary enthusiast is that from this time around there will be no stationary stalls at the book fair and those were some something that um, I absolutely enjoyed going to um, they had such you know quirky stuff notebooks and bags and pouches and whatnot I re really loved exploring all those things but you know we asked somebody there that you know why aren't there any stationary stalls this time around and he said yeah not just this time around but there will be no stationary stalls um, in future as well it's going to be a purely like just book fair just educational stuff and novels and all those things so yeah and that is also the reason the book fair um 
seemed a little scaled down this time around but yeah it is what it is i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do like comment subscribe share all those things um you know and i might go to the book fair again and upload a part two of the video so look out for that